Hi, welcome to our right to work checking procedure. We need to check your right to work documents to comply with legislation before you take up employment. In this video, we'll show you how to correctly scan or take pictures of your right to work documents to send to us so we can process your job application. It's useful to have the correct documents to hand before you begin. A full list of acceptable documents can be found by clicking the Acceptable Docs link in the main menu. To avoid delays with your application, it's extremely important that the document images you provide are clear and readable. But don't worry, keep watching and we'll show you what is and what is not acceptable to assist you with your document upload. All the document images you provide must be in colour and the images you upload should be in JPEG or PDF format. When scanning or photographing your document, it's important the whole document is captured and visible. No information should be cut off or obscured. If submitting a passport, we only require the photo ID page to be scanned or photographed. If the scan or photo contains more than one page, you will be requested to re-upload a corrected version of the document. This may delay the process of your application. Document images which show part of the document holder's image cut off, such as on this UK passport, or where the machine-readable zone at the bottom is incomplete, will not be acceptable. Glare on a biometric residence permit which obscures the text or a thumb covering over vital data will also not be accepted. To get the best results when photographing your documents using a camera or a phone, please ensure you're in a well-lit room and there is no glare on the document from either the room lights or camera flash. Make sure the entire document is in your camera's viewfinder before you take the picture and also check the photograph before uploading to make sure the photo appears as you had expected. Your scans or photographs should be created at a minimum of 300 dpi, that's pixels per inch. If the text is difficult to read or pixelated, it means your image resolution is too low and this could cause a delay in your application. Images should be sharp and easy to read. If you are scanning or photographing a card-style document, such as a biometric residence permit, you need to scan or photograph both the front and back of the card. We cannot accept a driver's license or short birth certificates as proof of your right to work. If the document you want to scan or photograph is long, such as a full UK birth certificate, for example, this can be presented in two halves. Please ensure the information in the middle is duplicated in each half. If any of your documents are in a different name other than the one you used to apply for the position, we will also require a scan or photograph of the name change document such as marriage certificate or deed poll. If you're an international student, you must also provide proof of your academic term time dates. This will have been issued by your place of study. By following this guidance, our aim is to make it as easy for you to upload your documents as possible and avoid any delays in your application. If there are any issues with the documents you supply, we will contact you by email, so please check your inbox regularly and don't forget to check your junk mail folder as well. To summarise, Scans or photographs of your documents should be in colour and a minimum resolution of 300 dpi. Check your photographs. If you cannot read the information contained within them clearly because of glare or because part of it is chopped off, please do not upload them. Rescan or retake the photographs. Check your email regularly, including your junk mailbox, for updates on your application. Good luck with your application and thanks for watching.